Did you know that rail commuters have an above average IQ? We can't prove it conclusively, of course, but we're pretty sure it's true. Why, you ask? Because you've chosen one of the safest ways to travel to work, to meet a date, to get home to your family, or your messy roommate. With the number of commuters set to rise by 3.5% annually, and nearly doubling over the next 20 years, this puts you well ahead of the pack. So, why is it that if we commuters are so clever, every time we get near a train track, we're busier practicing our juggling skills rather than paying attention to our surroundings? You know what I'm talking about. In one hand, you've got your mobile device. If we're not answering texts from our partners daring us not to be late again, we're playing games, trying to get to the next level of Angry Birds, checking ourselves in at the train station on Facebook, or trying to keep our clients happy. On the other hand, we're sorting our music, organizing our next playlist, or cranking up the volume to block out the rest of the world. Or maybe we get caught up in the newspaper or the book we're reading on our e-reader. Throw in balancing a coffee precariously like plates on a pole, and the circus is really coming to town. We'll be starring in Cirque du Soleil in no time. Please, hey! stop for a second. Something has to change. Taking our attention away from the million pounds of metal coming toward us is dangerous. You might be thinking you've got it under control, but 9,000 pedestrians have been killed or injured by trains in the last decade. Many of those were distracted or busy juggling, just like you. Often people don't realize trains are wider than the tracks. Trains cannot stop immediately. Today's trains can be very quiet. Trains can run on any track, in any direction, at any time. But incidents are easily avoided. All you have to do is look out for a few simple things and you'll be home in your comfy chair looking forward to two hours of your favorite show or sports game, rather than this not-so-comfy chair looking forward to two years of physical therapy. That's if you're one of the lucky ones who survive. You just need to stand away from the platform edge, unless you want to be traveling to work like this. Cross only at designated crossings, whether on foot or in a car. Cross only at crossings marked by signs, signals, or pavement marking. Watch the gap getting on or off the train. When on board, hold on. Don't take shortcuts with your life. Follow directional signs and markings that let you know where and when it's safe to cross the tracks. And finally, pay attention. Forget the hottie you've been eyeing across the platform and quit the juggling. Or that status update you're making just could be your last. Oh, and by the way, it's the same whether you're traveling by subway, light rail, commuter rail, or intercity trains. For more information on how you can stay safe and get home in one piece, visit our website, www.oli.org. And you don't need to keep rail safety a secret. Share our tips with your family and friends. Or better yet, forward them this video or like it on Facebook. You can find it here. Enjoy the convenience of getting from A to B so easily. But go easy on the juggling, okay?